Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Finance on Your Terms with me, Mike Benaziak. And as you'll notice, I am joined yet again by Jordan Richardson from the Community Foundation. Um, it's been great so far to partner up with him on this series. Last week, we talked about donor advised funds. We've got another great topic for you today. We're going to be actually talking about the Endow Iowa tax credit. So welcome back, Jordan. Thank you so much again for, uh, for joining me. And tell us a little bit about this Endow Iowa tax credit. What is it and how can you uh, utilize it? Yeah, well, thanks for having me again, Mike. So the Endow Iowa tax credit is a state tax credit program. It's been around for a little over 15 years. And what happened really to get it started was the state uh, said, hey, we really wanna see residents of Iowa giving back to charities in their own state and doing so in, a, in an endowed manner, in a way that lasts for, for more than their lifetime, ideally really forever. And so what happened with this program is, is the state said, hey, taxpayer, we will give you a 25% state tax credit for any gift that you make that qualifies for this program. So how do you qualify? There's sort of three legs to the stool. One is the, the gift goes through a qualified community foundation. There are 14 of us in Iowa. Uh, Des Moines being one of those. Two, the, the gift ultimately supports Iowa charities or an Iowa charity. And three, the gift is endowed. So what do I mean by that? I mean that you make a gift uh, to the community foundation for a specific charity and you say, I am willing to uh, let this gift last for forever and, and limit myself to up to 5% of that gift per year uh, going out to the charity or charities I want to support knowing that over time that gift will will continue to support them for many, many years. Okay. And that was great. So if you didn't hear that up front, 25% tax credit. So uh, to, to me, that is, a, uh, that is a massive opportunity for those out there um, that are looking for ways, pretty much everybody should, uh, to save on, uh, on taxes and still be able to gift to, uh, to your favorite charities, which we have so many of them out there. And I know most of you have a lot of charitable intentions. So this is, uh, this is the, what I think is, is a great uh, opportunity to do so. But like Jordan said, um, you've got to um, make sure you're using one of the community foundations. We mentioned the web address last time, and I think if I remember that correctly, is desmoinesfoundation.org. Right. So that's the website to check it out. To, but there's other ones in Iowa. So if you're not here in Des Moines, there's uh, 14 total in the state. And then you also have to uh, uh, um, only allow 5% uh, out each year. So you can, you know, if you put $10,000 in, because again, there's a lot of variety as far as what you can put in, but you can only take out um, a certain amount each year. But the flexibility part is you can direct to which of the Iowa charities that, uh, that you want to, uh, the money to go to. So still a lot of flexibility for you, a great tax advantage, and um, something that is uh, definitely worth, uh, worth checking out. Um, what else? Yeah, and I'll, I'll say too, Mike, so there's a, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You know, one, we talked last time about donor advised funds. So it might be that we say, hey, let's set up a donor advised fund. Let's make it endow Iowa qualified. Okay. So what I'm doing by that is saying, I am willing to commit myself to only support an Iowa charities out of this fund. Maybe I have another fund that I give nationally. And then you can get the tax credit for any gift into that fund. Or you can say, hey, community foundation, what nonprofit organizations have endowments with you already? And can I give directly to them? And that's, a, that's an avenue that we see lots of, of individuals in Iowa tapping into of saying, hey, I'm planning on giving $100 to my favorite charity anyway. If I can do that through you and get a tax credit for that, why not? It makes it really simple for me. Yeah. So you can, uh, you know, I guess, minimal effort to, to more effort as far as how you want to, uh, you know, what, what control you want over it. Because um, you're right. I think there are so many um, uh, uh, charities out there that already have endowments. And if one's already available not just uh, just uh, give it directly to them and still be able to take uh, advantage of this uh, this credit or like Jordan said the donor advised funds last time you can set that up but in order for it to be endowed remember it's got to meet those criteria where it's just a plain old donor advised fund that was pretty much anything that was a lot that was maximum flexibility this one's a little more limited uh, but at the same time a, uh, a, a wonderful product um, to uh, to look into uh, for those with charitable intention. So anything else that you, uh, that you wanted to add? Well, the last thing I'll share is that the program is really popular. Uh, it's used across all 99 counties in Iowa. And okay. part of the popularity means that uh, the tax credits run out every year. So I okay. encourage you, if you're interested, to reach out to myself or to Mike uh, and, and just 
see where we're at in that um, tax credit cycle and, and make sure that it's still right for you. Okay, perfect. And that's a, yeah, that's a great point. Um, we'll make sure to have uh, links in the video um, to both Jordan and the Community Foundations for those of you that like to reach out. Um, if you do need a connection and for whatever reason um, uh, aren't going directly to them, you can always uh, ask me as well. Um, and I can make sure to put you in touch with, uh, with him too. So with that being said, that is the conclusion of another episode of Finance on Your Terms. Please continue to share these videos. Um, this kind of came out of uh, the connection that Jordan and I had, but there's so many ideas, so many topics that I've heard from you. Um, uh, keep those topics coming because we want to make sure that this, uh, these videos stay as relevant as possible. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in and we will see you next week.